Today we're going to concentrate on the Chippewa River and the, and, the, and the Chippewa River Delta. And that's where it hits the Mississippi. So you got all the backwater. And it's called the Tiffany Bottoms. It's, it, it's a state land. You can camp, you can kayak, you can fish all these little back sloughs. It, it's a real nice place. It's primitive. But it's nice if you just want to bird wash those trails. This here on this side of the Chippewa is the uppers. Down here is the bottoms. Wonderful in the winter for snowshoeing, cross country skiing. We like to spend a lot of time with our dogs in the outside. And so we do a lot of skajoring. It, it, it's a real nice place and, and we, we hope you enjoy what we're going to show you. And, Give us a call at five hours from outfitting. The Chippewa River, named after the Chippewa Indians, and the two are kind of parallel. The Chippewa tribe, an underestimated nation. Same with this river. Chippewa Indians originally were in the Hudson Bay area. Weather pushed them west. They ended up in Michigan, and a little bit of Canada there, and uh, they battled the Iroquois, and they went, defeated them. Then they moved a little farther west and battled the Sioux and pushed the Sioux west. And they ended up controlling parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, and into Canada. They controlled the largest mass, land mass, of any Indian nation in North America. When you think of the birch bark canoe, that's the Chippewa. They were hunters and gatherers due to the short growing season and the weather and the poor soil, meaning they, they had large land area, but they, they hung in small little tribes. Yeah, just like the Chippewa, this river is underestimated in the strength and the beauty humbles you. You call me Johnny Drifter I'm a drifting right along I got a honky tonk guitar In the hillbilly song Yeah, I'm walking in the north woods Ain't got nobody to call Don't want to talk to anybody I'm a humble body at all yeah, my bucket's got a hole in it. Yeah, my bucket's got a hole in it. Well, my bucket's
rabbit's got a hole in it. It don't hold no beer. Yeah, I like the look of that the water. It's amazing what I find. Yeah, the crabs and the fishes. They just waste a little time. Well, my pocket's got a hole in it. Yeah, my pocket's got a hole in it. Well, my pocket's got a hole in it. You don't hold no beer. Yeah, you call me Johnny Drifter. I'm a drifting right along. Got a hillbilly guitar and a honky tonk song. cities. That way is New Orleans. One day we'll take you down on this river, but that, that's for a different trip. We're going to head back up to the, to the back country. I'm a little more comfortable there. A lot of people down here. Talk dog with you. We enjoy, we encourage dogs coming with us on our adventures. But we want, we, but we want to spend a little time with them before you take him out. So when he gets into a situation, you can get him into his comfort zone. Coming to a boat landing, you know, and there's the other dogs running around, and people, and you're kind of trying to get your boat situated. You want to be able to put him in a comfort zone and, and uh, you know, tell him, and that's what obedience is, it's a comfort zone, boom, so he's there. And you want to practice that ahead of time. One thing about dogs is you got to treat every dog a little bit different. They train kind of the same, but kind of not. You know, you don't expect this fine gun dog to act like this, this northern pulling dog. So, you know, She's gonna be a little lazier on her sits than let's say him. So just appreciate your dog, even if it's a mixed breed. You know what's behind that, and they act a little bit different. If you need a little help with your dog, give us a holler. We're pretty darn good.
enjoyed your trip down the Chippewa River. It's God's country out there. Keep us in mind for your next outdoor adventure. We are the Midwest premier outdoor travel guides. One more thing. When you're planning your next get together, whether it's a party, a church function, a business function, whatever it may be, keep us in mind. We'll pack up our guitars, bring a pocket full of stories and have a good old time. Until next time, I will see you on the river.